Yeah. Are you talking about this? Somebody that had the hell of a time this morning. A hell of a time this morning. Um, with my uh, dogs. Woo, Lord have mercy, y'all. A lot of y'all know. I'd rather deal with um, in some instances, Connie Corsos, who are extremely intelligent, um, than to deal with some of you Negroes. Okay. Let me make sure I say that nicely. But good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Let me tell y'all what kind of merton I've had so far. Fortunately for me, uh, everything calmed down. And unfortunately, it didn't calm down fast enough. But however, it did calm down. So let me explain to y'all what the frick kind of morning I had as soon as it was daybreak, okay? Y'all listen here. Oh, my God. So I got a few females in heat here, okay? Um, and like I said, I like to direct a lot of y'all to my second channel so y'all can see how we got everything set up and you know, the kennels and the, and the cages in the basement. Um, and But anyway, to make a long story short, I made the serious mistake of not, I got an alpha female here. And I didn't, um, I was slipping. And she's still smelly. She's out of heat, but she still gives off a scent that's kind of strong for the fellas. And they can't really handle it. Y'all know how they do, right? Okay, so it ain't no different than these Negroes you see on the streets. They can't handle it. Okay, certain smells drive them mad. So anyway, to make a long story short, I didn't let her outside. And her husband, her mate, um, was out there. And of course... He ain't thinking about nothing but, ooh, I'm going to have an opportunity to mate. Although she is not in heat again. She uh, missed um, getting uh, uh, pregnant this time. Because as y'all know, um, that's something that you don't want to skip a lot. If you, don't, if you have dogs who are intact. And all my dogs are intact because... I believe that's how nature intended it for it to be. Um, and sometimes when you take something away, you're just not the same. Trust me. It, it, it is what it is. I don't care what they say. Okay, just my opinion. So anyway, I done let this girl outside and he out there. And I made the mistake of, she ran down there, as I should say. I shouldn't say I let her out there. I was letting them out. She done ran her behind out there. Because she's an alpha, and remember, she got to control everything and everyone and make sure everybody is doing the right thing before the, her day can be um, okay. She's got to put pretty much everybody in submissive posture except for uh, the male, okay? She can't get him in submissive posture. Oh, she, she don't get him in submissive posture, but pretty much everybody else that's out there, they get taken down. Like a wrestler. <laughs> Except for this time, I forgot Mufasa. And y'all know I kept Mufasa out of uh, the very first litter. Um, or the third litter. I don't know. Whatever. I kept Mufasa. Mufasa is brilliantly gorgeous. Um, and he, it's time for him to make action. And I was in the process of trying to get the perfect female for him to mate with. What? When she scooted herself out the door, she out there going at it with her husband who tried to mount her. And, oh, my God, here come Mufasa. Got a whiff of it because they were agitated. And most of y'all 
that know whenever you live with dogs, like in a pack uh, atmosphere environment, whatever one does, you want to control that because it gets all out of hand and then they all go crazy, right? And then you can't control it. You better get the hell on out the way. So fortunately for me, I got my staff that I ride and I staff, they comfort me. So I have my staff with me. And, um, but before I, I didn't have it when the, uh, fight first started, because it was definitely a full fledged fight. <laughs> and Trey was out there with me. And we were sitting up here trying to break these dogs up, these males, this father and this son from fighting. And I'm telling you what nothing registered. They ain't listen at all. I couldn't put nobody down in some Mr. Posture. And the sad thing was that the son was getting the best of the dad. Oh, my God. So that really hurt me down. But, of course, your emotion ain't got no place in this kind of situation. So uh, I tried to get them off. And what I didn't do, I didn't have a good, I didn't have my staff. So I couldn't take the stick and stick it in between their mouths, which is what a lot of people do. Or they break stick, you know, to break them apart. So I had to do my best and I didn't have anything. So I just had to let them go. And it was unfortunate um, because um, I think this is the first fight my male uh, Zeus has been in and then he had the nerve to get into a fight with his son. Golly. But it don't work like that in the animal kingdom. Everything is direct, short, bam. It is what it is. Handle it or move on out the way. Uh, nobody trying to spare your feelings because you can't handle the truth. This is what it really is. That's the world I grew up in. And um, all this faking until you make it, it don't work. And that's why I have a hard time with a lot of these people in this society because especially a lot of people that want to dish it out, but they can't take it who they are or what they represent. But they can point out every damn thing that's wrong with you and every damn thing that's wrong with everybody else. They don't take no accountability, no self-responsibility for who they are and what attitude they bring to the table, okay? I'm kind of mixing real life in with dog life because that's why I love the animal kingdom because I get a chance to evaluate. And like I said, with dog, there's no, it, it really um, is for real. Ain't no fake in it, okay? I'm telling you to get away from me. That's why I'm growling at your ass. I'm saying, that means move on. I'm, I'm having a problem with what this, this energy is bringing, what you bring. Okay. Now, then if you keep on persisting, I'm coming at you. You know, a lot of times human beings don't have that much restraint. Okay. So, but with that being said, let me continue on. I digress. My God, these dogs were fighting. They fought from one end of the uh, field to the next end of the field. They going at it. Ah, it looked like Scar and uh, Mufasa. It was just horrible. It was just, uh, I was like, oh, my staff, I couldn't find it. I even tried to uh, grab Mufasa a couple times in the back. It was just total fruit. He was, they were in the zone. And the threshold for pain is you know, pretty much like a pit bull. So, which is nothing. You know, they don't feel it. Well, the young lion got tired. And he was whooping his dad pretty good. He was whooping him. And I was like, oh, I was really mad because everybody knows Zeus is my pride and joy. And he was whooping him pretty good. And so now I'm upset. And I'm like, I can't find my damn staff. And then I got Trey out here trying to stop it. And we, they like, ah, 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 ah. I was like, oh my God, what, what am I? I never experienced this before. I knew what to do. I just didn't have my equipment on hand, which was my bad because I never had to do it. And like I said, it's the first time for everything if you're dealing with dogs. Well, finally, the young lion wore himself out. And then he, he focused in on me. Like he was saying, help me. I'm done now. But as y'all know, it was probably too late because after he had put his daddy ass from one end of the playground to the next, the yard, 
uh, the daddy was like, oh, you think I'm going to let you get away with that? So it took a quick turn. And then the daddy started beating on him, biting them all up, biting them all. I was like, oh, my God, what have I got myself into? What have I got? And just as easy as it started, I start, I start, kept calling him, kept calling him at that point. You know, to try to break it, break the uh, brain, break the brain. The brain was just out of control. Um, the the one that was on the bottom, which was the son, he was looking up at me like, "Yeah, I'm done with this." But, uh, the of course the father had to shake his head a couple more times. You know, and shake him and shake him and shake him. So now I'm looking at bloods coming from somewhere. I don't know where it's coming from. It's, as long as it's not the throat, I'm like, okay. It was the tongue. So anyway, to make a long story short, when I called him, I think maybe the third or fourth time, the papa, he backed off. The son jumped up, ran towards me. I'm like, really? And so I opened the door and let him go down to his kennel and the father was still walking around just like panting like this mother this this did what I could read it y'all it was just like a father who had just got jumped by his son and his son was getting the best of him until he had to make some of them old man moves and hit him where you hit him in the chest and his whole chest cave in and wrap around your damn thumb your damn fist well, them kind of punches, that's exactly what happened. And I witnessed it all. I've never seen anything like this today. Y'all, I'm sharing this with y'all because it was so crazy. What a way to start your Saturday morning. Excuse me, I got the hiccups now. Anyways, Zeus walked around a little bit longer, walking around like he was mad. Like, uh, uh, uh. And then he was so, then you could see the tiredness come come over him. Then he kind of like he didn't fall out. It looked like he wanted to pass out. He was so tired. Excuse me. He was panting and panting. I went and got some water. I was like, oh, Zeus, I'm looking at him. He got mud all over him, blood all over him. And so I went instantly and got a, a, a warm towel and it began to wipe my babies face, head, and everything, wipe him down, wipe him, and he was hurting. He was hurting so bad that I could even look like his feelings was hurt. So, you know, I must be tripping. Because it looked like his feelings was hurt. Like he was saying, this dude jumped me over my woman. He jumped me. Oh, God. So, that's my story for the day. It was really crazy. They eventually stopped. I wiped, um, Mufasa didn't want it no more. He went straight down in his cage and went in, waiting for me to lock him in. Um, Zeus was so tired. He really wanted to go at him again, but he was too tired. And he couldn't do anything. So, um, I just had to wipe him down and hope he would be okay and then count his battle wounds and stars and take him a little bit to heal. A good week because he's limping. Whoa. He's limping like his um you know he's he's hurt in, in, in his spirit that hurt him and then he hurt his front left right paw. So I gotta keep an eye on that. And um Mufasa don't seem to have any outwardly scars, just a few nicks around his mouth area and his tongue. Um, and y'all know the tongue bleeds a lot, so that's probably where that was, the blood was coming from, the tongue. One of them bit each other's tongue. So, um, right now I got them just at a truce, and I'm looking over the battle wounds and wiping it and trying to decide what I'm going to do for the rest of the day with these. I got some people supposed to be coming by, and I'm like, really? Really? So I'm going to start have to big up my other channel and start this other channel so I can um, uh, uh, send y'all over there. And so y'all, those of y'all who want to see those adventures, they can be pretty crazy. <laughs> so 
because I tell you how I started my morning. And with that being said, um, y'all give me some feedback below on what do you do when you got males and females, or have you ever experienced that? Um, I, they both live together. It's not a problem when none of the females are in heat. People say you can't have two males. You can't have that. all those. Those are myths. Those are not true. Um, I have males and females together, and they don't never have a problem. And the only problem thing that presents a problem is when the female is in heat. So y'all give me some feedback and tell me what y'all uh, experience if you have any with this. I'll be glad to hear it, and um, please share it with me. So I'm going to go to the next video, and if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. I know that's a little bit off of the content, but y'all, it was one of them mornings. One of them mornings. Oh, one of them mornings. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one.